city in the world, Reno, Nevada, McKay Stadium, home to the Nevada Wolfpack, where we have hit the jackpot with this matchup. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the SMU Mustangs, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Nevada Wolfpack. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Nevada about to kick it off to get this game started. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So SMU's offense takes the field to start this game off. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. He has so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on, that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. And the Mustangs moving quickly to the line. Power football with the run. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got three on first down at second and seven. Right back to it. Picks up the first down, still moving. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Mustangs have it with a first and 10. He leaves it with his back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. This is a designed run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Here on third down. Unloads quickly. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. When you got a weapon this good at tight end, a quarterback, you've got to look his way, especially in this area of the field, because remember, it's the red zone where these windows are so small. Nice job getting the completion and picking up the first. Down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. On the move. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. 
couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. Pushes ahead. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, SMU! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put together an 81-yard drive, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Makes a move. Smashes through the tackle. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He will score. Touchdown, Wolfpack. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space? Great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep, they can't roll. You can see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the middle. That's the kind of play that energizes the entire team. 96 yards, he took it back for the touchdown. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? It to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go right back to the run. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. The give to the tailback. Continues to fight for yards. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Mustangs look to keep this drive humming. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. <laughs> He finds some solid space, makes a night. The defense is able to stop it. Well, you got to give the defense a lot of credit on this play because they were doing a nice job understanding who had the football and where they were. So a nice job by the defense rallying around that ball carrier and now not giving up the first down. And on second down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. 
Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Got enough for the first. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. We played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. The Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Makes the grab. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. From the gun, the ground game. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. to throw at Stone. Unloads it left. Got his man. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seven. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a can. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. And brings up second angle. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now it's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs! Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Nevada Wolfpack offense takes the field, and they'll go to work for the first time. 
Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. Lewis to throw. Spits it out to the back. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback now breaking the field. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Wolfpack will have first and ten. They'll go to the ground. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. They'll run play action. Fires left. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. And you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick. And because of the hit, incomplete pass. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. He wants to throw it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin them deep. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back. It's Stone. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Well, unfortunate with that incompletion, the quarterback and his intended target not on the same page. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Wants to go up top. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right, force a short-yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch, make the run, get the first down. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the left. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Now, we'll hang on here. The coach is calling timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle, it's Maryland. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Wide receiver shows motion. Dropping back, it's Stone. Dumps it to the back. Wide open man. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Mustangs will try to put one on the board on first and goal. He'll pull it on the read. Touchdown, SMU! And they take it in for six more points. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So a well-executed eight-place, 75-yard drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity to create some momentum, cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. It doesn't matter who it is, receivers, in this case, a tight end. You get open, you sometimes start to look at that green space in front of you, you just take your eye off the football, lose your concentration a little bit, and miss that opportunity for possibly a big throw. He's got his man, and they pick up just a few on that completion. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Passes incomplete. The clock is down to nine. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Nevada will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. As expected, they're content to run out the clock and go into halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Reno. 
Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Mackey Stadium. The Mustangs will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. They'll line up for a second down play. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Nevada going quickly. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. In the second half, trailing the way they are, they know they're going to have to be able to throw the football to get back into it. But you can't accomplish that if you can't keep your quarterback standing upright. Give the defense tons of credit getting that sack on third down. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He will make the fair catch just a few yards shy of midfield. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Those are the kind of plays in the second half you have to make. This back has had plenty of success. He's gotten a lot of touches. Now, defensively, we've got to show him things are about to be different. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll keep it himself. Yeah, and nice job by this defense stringing it out towards the sideline. And when I do that, man, all my body's got to rally to the football. We got to run to the football really, really hard from inside out. Nice job by the defense getting to the quarterback, making the play. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. Back to throw. It's Stone. Looking for the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Mustangs! Touchdown. Well, this Touchdown. offense looked unstoppable in the no, first no. half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field to score. There is no end in sight for these guys. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. 
trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go Temple. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. And now on second down for this offense. They'll leave it with the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. They go to the ground. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. And the Mustangs are rolling down the field. Leaves it with the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback keeps it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Lining up to convert third down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Mustangs will snap it on first and 10. They move the tight end all over. They'll ride the hot hand. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Tackle on the at the 10 yard line. Second 
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. It's a draw. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. period and SMU has the lead this has been utter domination through three quarters in the stats will back that up one more period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left at home and to christen this fourth quarter they'll try to hang a three on the board it's good and that was dead solid perfect and now the lead is even bigger They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Unloads to the wideout. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch up. And you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. After the misfire now on second down. Lewis wants to pass. Got his man on the right. Slips a tackle and he's got room. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Steps away to find some room. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. And we don't see this very much in college football anymore. Quarterbacks just taking care of their bodies and making smart decisions. Get down on the ground so you don't take one of these big hits from these nasty defensive players and just give yourself a chance to make it through the rest of this game. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback and this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. He's looking to throw. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. Slides in safely. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. This Nevada offense really has it going. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his target down the middle. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. 
you just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. And he had it for a second, but he just dribbled out of his hands. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Lewis to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Another incompletion on third down. Well, the defense came into this one knowing if they stop the pass, they win the game, and they have done that. Their guys have won one-on-one -on, -one on islands. They've been able to get to the quarterback. They've been mixing up their looks. They haven't even allowed 100 yards passing in this one, and that's why they are way ahead here in the fourth quarter. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Now he's going to break the pocket. He's going to run it. Got all he needed for the first down, and then he gets down on the slide. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The Wolfpack with a first and ten here. He wants to throw. He's got him in the flat. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. Makes the tackle right at the 28-yard line. Pick up a five, and they'll move the sticks. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Lewis wants to pass. Grabs it in the middle. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time. And they could use one here. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can fight. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Really, 
nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area, I'm throwing this thing on time, and this is going to be a touchdown. That's exactly what happened. They'll line up to go for two. Lewis to throw. Got his man in the middle. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Offense set on first down. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Motion from the offense. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. They'll try the run. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he's brought down after a nice game. He's tackled at the 27. And that's good enough for a first down. Tonight's final score. SMU 31. Nevada 13.